Hi guys, I'm Erica Carnegie and I'm one of the ambassadors for the Girls Who Brunch Tour. Today, my mom and I are going to be teaching you easy ways to draw different animals and different things that you wouldn't usually think of. This time, I'm going to start first. Last time, my mom started first. I'm going to start first with a snail. So you can get a pen or a pencil and a plain piece of paper. So I'm going to start by making a fist and leaving my thumb out. And then I place it on the paper. And you just trace your hand very slowly, but it's okay if you mess up. After you traced your hand, draw a straight line all the way out, and then a straight line. Now we are going to make the shell. So we're just going to draw a straight line all the way over and it doesn't quite look like a shell yet so we're going to draw some lines in the curved line at the bottom now it still doesn't really look like a snail it's missing a mouth and eyes so we'll give it a smiley face and then draw two lines for the eyes. So we'll draw a circle and another circle. And we'll give it some eyebrows. Then we'll draw a smaller circle on the inside And another little circle on the inside and then you can just fill it in now it's starting to look like a snail so you can add some grass because snails are usually in the grass And you can draw a cloud that's in the sky. And then you can draw a sun in the corner. <clears throat> oh, and don't forget to sign it, of course. If you can't write your name in cursive, you can just write your name in print. As you can see, I did both. And I even added a little smiley face. So, that's how you draw the snail. And when you're done, you can color it in or design it however you want. And it'll look like this. I use green and orange, but you can use any colors that you want. <clears throat> so this is my drawing without any color that I just drew. And this is it colored in. Next, I'm going to draw a bird. So I'm going to have a nice clean piece of paper and I'm going to separate my hand out just like this and put it flat on the paper and then just trace my hand slowly like I did the other one
now I'm going to draw its tail and then finish this straight line and add one more tiny little triangle for the tail. It doesn't look like a bird yet, so I'm going to add some legs. And then I'm going to add some lines to its neck. Now, birds have beaks. So I'm going to draw a triangle to make its beak and a line down the middle with a little circle on top. And then I'm going to draw the eye. Now, we have to add something to its wings. So, we'll just draw down and then do the same thing to the other side. Then, you can add some clouds in the sky because birds fly high. They can fly low, too. You can even draw a little house in the background, and you can say that that's your house. Now, this is what it will look like before you color it in. I almost forgot to put my signature. Again, if you can't do your signature in cursive, you can do it in print. I did both. So here's my drawing and my little house right here. And then, once you've colored it in, It could look like this. Just a bird flying. <laughs> so before you colored it in, it would look like this. And then after you add color, it would look like this. Pretty cool, isn't it? <clears throat> now, my mom is going to come and draw okay today we are going to do an elephant and so what I'm going to do is get my fingers, fold them under like that, and I'm going to trace. The good thing about doodling is you don't have to be an artist. Like, I cannot draw at all, but doodling is fun. So move your thumb in just a little bit closer. Let me see where I am. Okay, here we are. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just something fun to do. So trace all the way around. All right. Now we have that and the little thumb right there. And so we're going to turn it around. So the thumb is facing to you, to your left, all right? And then we're going to fill in right here. We're going to draw, and we're going to make a little tail off to the side. All right, because what we're trying to make is an elephant. As I said, we're going to try and make an elephant. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are the little feet. And you can see where I messed up right here. And that's okay. We'll just put a little line 
And then we're going to make the little light toenails. And then we'll go here again, make some more toenails. Hopefully you can see this. And then we'll make some more toenails in here. All right. So now that's the toenails. So then we draw a little line like that. Right there. And now right where the little snout, this part of the elephant is called the snout. We're going to put a little line, just a small line, and then another little line. All right, now we're going to do this, make this little shape right here. And then we'll make another little shape in there, just like that. And this one, we're going to color it in. Okay, now we have to do the little wrinkles on the snout. So we'll do a little wrinkly line right here. Did I say snout? Trunk. Elephants have trunks. Pigs have snouts. Ah, I'm cracking myself up. Okay. So here you go. All right, boys and girls. Pigs have snouts and elephants have trunks. Yeah, that's the thing that they drink water with and, you know, just have a little bit of fun with. So here you go. All right. So now we have those other wrinkles on there. All right. Now we're going to do an eye. So we'll just make a circle right here. And then we'll draw another circle because this is going to be the pupil. All right. And color that in. Okay. See, it's coming together. All right. Then if you want, you can put a few lashes on there or you can leave it like that. If you want to put lashes, that's fine. Now we have to draw the ear. And this is where I am not so good. All right, I'm going to start right here. Here we go. This little line. And we're going to go over like this. You know what? It's almost looking like a peanut shell. Or a peanut. Yeah. There you go. All right. When you're drawing it, think of a peanut. I just got that. You know how a peanut is shaped like the number eight? Yeah. So, well, some of you might not, maybe you've not seen a peanut inside of the shell, but when you see it in the shell, it's shaped like the number eight, and then you have a nut on top and one on the bottom. So that's what you think of. Draw a peanut shell, but just don't close it all the way. And that's going to be the ear. Okay, so now, here you go. We have our little elephant. As you can see, there's a little elephant, elephant. That's gonna be so much fun. And then you can color, elephants tend to be like a gray black, you can color that in, but to make it fun, you can make your elephant pink with sparkles, or you can make him blue, or any color you want to be, you want it to be. So that is how you make a fun elephant. Yep, oh my God, my elephant is looking amazing. There you go. And always, always sign your artwork. Because when you spend your time doing it, you want everyone to know you did it. And so just print your name and then you can hang it on the refrigerator and have your own little art gallery on the refrigerator. You know, I still have some of Erica's artwork on the refrigerator and she's, st she's now 17. I have, I have artwork when she was about four or five, but it's so cute and I don't want to get rid of it. All right, so. Had some people who asked me again 
to do the, what is the thing called? Rabbit. To do the rabbit, which I did last week, but for some reason they want me to do it live again. So I'm going to do the rabbit today. So for the bunny rabbit, you need these two fingers. You're going to put that right there. And these fingers, you're going to put them under, bend them under like that. And then put your two fingers here. And then you have to get your hands to lay kind of flat. So there you go. All right. So now let's do this. We always start back here. Make sure. All right. There you go. Tracing. Tracing. And just follow your fingers and just follow the outline okay all right and so that's there and you're just going to see it's open we're going to close it so just take your time and fill it in and close it and again, this is a fun thing to do. So if you miss it or there are squiggly lines and all that, don't worry about it. It's a fun thing to do for boys and girls. And you can have, um, you can color it any color you want and just make it yours. Be, now is the time to be creative. Okay. All right. So these are the bunny ears. And like I said last time, we're going to use shapes in this one. So here we're going to use an oval. So we're going to fill that in and sometimes I make it round, you know, just round off the edges or you can make it squiggly if you want, if you want it to be squiggly like that. I think last time I just drew a complete oval, but instead of making this end nice and smooth, I'm just going to make it squiggly like you saw today, you just saw. So here we go. Another oval coming around and instead of making the end smooth, we're going to, all right. Then we're going to do the eyes. So the eyes will be circles. Then you need a circle within the circle. We make it a little bit bigger. And you can make this any size you want. Okay, here's the other eye right here and then you make another circle within the circle and there you go now mr bunny is looking back at you and now we're going to give him a little nose okay so we're going to use a triangle but only we're going to flip it upside down normally triangles the point is at the top and then you have the line at the bottom. But this time we're going to draw the line up top. It's like, oh my gosh, the triangle got flipped upside down. Ooh. Okay. And then a couple of whiskers. All right. And now we're going to give this rabbit some teeth all right so let's see how we want to make these teeth where's my little bunny rabbit from I think it's right here I want to go ahead and put some teeth on here but not as big as the last time I did it Here we go. All right, so we have that. And then now we're going to do this. Now we're going to make some teeth. Oh, scary teeth. Whoa. Let's 
draw a line straight down. And then here we go. Wow, those are some big, big teeth. Scary. So there you go. And if you want, like I said, you can put some lashes up there. If you want. With the doodling, it's fun. You can always make it your own. If you don't want lashes, don't put any lashes. You want some lashes, put some lashes on there. Make it your own. Then you would color this in. I would color this probably pink. Or if you want to do it blue. And then you can color this any shade you want. <clears throat> You can make the nose pink or blue, green, any color. If you you know if you want to make a unicorn or a multicolored um, bunny rabbit, then you do that. It, again, it's all up to you. Doodling is just fun. There aren't any rude rules in doodling. You draw it and then you make it your own. So Erica and I could do the same bird, but um, it would have different colors in it. Maybe I want my bird to be sparkly, and maybe she doesn't want hers to be sparkly. So, but in the end, we'll have drawn, we um, will have drawn the same thing, but just our creativity will come through differently. So, this is the bunny. As you can see, he's a kind of cute bunny. It's kind of very, very cute. Yeah. Okay. And always sign your name. Always sign your name. And then you can hang it on the refrigerator. And I'll tell you what, grandparents love this stuff. Grandma comes over. Or you go to see grandma. Do some artwork for her. And she will love it. Okay? Alright. So, now I'm going to turn you back to Erica. Where's my other drawing? So now you've seen my bunny rabbit, my masterpiece. This should be hanging in a, in a museum. Yes, indeed. And then my other masterpiece, which is the elephant. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. All right. So let me turn you over to Erica. Thank you, guys. So, <clears throat> if you guys tuned in a little late, or maybe you got here as my mom was going, this is what I drew in my portion today. I drew a bird, and it's all colored in. And then I drew a snail, which I also colored in. This is the version that's not colored in. And this is the other version that's not colored in. Thank you guys so, so much for watching with my mom and I today. We had so much fun drawing with you. And if you guys want to find other ways to draw or maybe you want to draw something else, you can always look it up on YouTube or Google or whatever you want to look it up on. There's lots of different fun ways to draw and you can make it whatever you want. So thank you so much for tuning in again to watch my mom and I draw. We had so much fun with you guys today and I'm so glad that you could join us. Bye!